Hi friends, in this quick AWS tutorial, we are going to learn about AWS Shield. Okay, so AWS Shield service comes in two flavors, AWS Shield Standard and AWS Shield Advanced. We are going to see both Shield Standard and Shield Advanced and we are also going to do a quick hands-on. Okay, so AWS Shield and Shield Advanced both services uh, gives us the protection from DDoS attack. Okay, so let's understand what is the DDoS attack. Uh, DDoS stands for Distributed Denial of Services. So what happens sometimes uh, to your application, you may get a lot of requests coming from across the world and which can overwhelm your uh, user traffic so that your service may not be available for your legitimate uh, customers. So suppose your service can only serve 10,000 requests per second and you are getting um, a request like maybe uh, 5 million at that point. So what happens, maybe sometimes your service may be unavailable. Okay, so to avoid such type of a, uh, issues, we uh, AWS provide us the protection in the form of AWS Shield. So AWS Shield is standard, it's a free service and it's by default activated for every AWS account and it protects your uh, website or application against the DDoS attacks. So mainly the AWS services which are prone for DDoS attacks are those services which are internet facing. So it's, it's like EC2 instances, ELBs, elastic load uh, balancers, or root 53 or global accelerator okay so how does this awc standard service works okay so in behind the scene uh, it uses some anomaly uh, detection algorithm what it does it basically uh, checks your uh, network traffic the real time network traffic and it if it finds any sort of anomaly then it will uh, detect and it will let you know and it will throttle the extra requests which are which are coming so it will also mitigate such type of attacks the next one is aws shield advanced so then what is the need of shield advanced when we are already having a free free shield standard service so shield advanced comes with a huge price tag three thousand dollar per month and the advantage of this is it gives you more sophisticated uh, protection for your uh, uh, resources such as EC2, ELB, CloudFront, Route 53 and our global accelerator. And the second, uh, the main advantage is it will give you 24 by 7 access to AWS DDoS response team. Okay, so suppose I will give you an example. It's a mission critical application and you are uh, uh, live streaming the FIFA World Cup and at a time you do not want any sort of disruption to the service and the hackers are ready to several type of attacks and DDoS may be one type of attack so definitely you would like to go with AWS Seal Advanced and you would like to protect your uh, application okay so now uh, let's see how how does it work uh, AWS console here uh, this is the warp and shield you come over here and uh, here you can see AWS Shield getting started. And uh, as you see, AWS Shield is monthly $3,000 per month. So what you need to do, you have to just subscribe to Shield Advanced. And uh, you have to uh, choose the pricing, $3,000 per month, subscription free for a consolidated billing family. Okay, now. Uh, once you're protected, you have option where you can add your resources, okay, add resources to protect. So here you can go over here, okay. So here uh, you can see after subscription to this AWS Shield service, it has by default uh, selected all the resources, CloudFront, Route 53, Global Accelerator, application load balancer, classic load balancer, elastic load balancer in all the regions, okay? So I don't have any resources as such, but if you have resources and if you do it here, load resources, you can you can see the resources left over here and you can select what resources you want to 
protect so this is uh, basically from aws shield okay hope you like it if you like it please subscribe to our channel